Continuing on the cloud hardware theme, now we're going to talk about what CPU and memory and virtual CPU and memory are. You know, core to any computer, you're going to have a CPU in that computer, and that's no different in a server versus a laptop or a cell phone or anything else that's basically uh, a running a computer in an operating system these days. Then you have memory. Some of you may have actually attempted to replace memory in your computer one, at one point in your life. And, and memory, or RAM, uh, is random access memory. So this is not to be confused with storage, where you store photos and medical records and files and all that other sort of stuff. Uh, but this is memory that your computer is actively using at any given time. A quick example, you open a Word document. That Word document is on a hard drive or, or, or storage. Um, but while it's open, the computer actually puts it in random access memory, meaning it's a super fast to be able to use that document and manipulate it until you're done and saving it off. In the cloud, we take these physical CPUs and, and physical RAM or, or memory sticks, and we actually convert them to virtual CPUs and virtual RAM. And really, we're using technology from, from a company called VMware um, to do that. And VMware is a company that makes hypervisor software. We'll talk more about that in, in, in later modules. Um, but think about it um, like a big building where you have apartments. Instead of one person owning uh, the entire building, you have a bunch of people renting out the apartments. Not much difference here. They have a very big amount of physical CPUs and memory, and then we carve them up into virtual CPUs and virtual RAM. And, and these are oftentimes um, measured in gigahertz and gigabytes. So gigahertz being the CPU speed. If you've ever bought a computer and maybe you're at the Apple store and you're looking at a MacBook and it's 1.6 gigahertz, um, that's just measuring the speed of the, um, the CPU. And, and RAM, I'm sure most of you know, you know, you can get 16 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of RAM, um, whatever you'd like there. Um, the beauty of doing this in the cloud is you can actually buy the amount that you need, and you can, and you can scale that on demand. So many, many customers towards the end of the year is their busy season. That could be an insurance industry where you have um, open enrollment. It could be um, retail where everybody's shopping. Um, but the concept there is uh, many times you would want to add uh, resources to your virtual machines uh, for the period of time that you need it. And you can do that without any kind of downtime. You can add CPU, add memory, add storage. Um, and in rare cases, in most cases, you never have to reboot that machine. And you can consume those resources during your busy season. You know, when you're done, you know, holidays are over or the open enrollment's over, you can actually scale those resources back down to exactly what you need to maintain your normal state of operations. So at a very high level, that was uh, cloud hardware, uh, specifically talking about virtual CPUs and, and virtual memory.